What is poppin' YouTube? My name is Ethan Dobbins and you are watching my first ever YouTube video. Thank you so much, by the way. This is like the beginning of a new generation that we're witnessing right in front of our eyes. And in today's video, there is gonna be no value shorted. This is gonna be a huge banger straight off the bat. I'm gonna be a one hit wonder most likely because this video is gonna be so freaking amazing. So today we're gonna be covering what is my number one method of doing product research. And we're gonna cover three main factors you should be looking for when trying to find winning products. Now this method has helped me find five and six six figure a month products consistently every single month. Now I understand that's a big claim, but I'm going to back it up right now as we hop into the Google doc and you're going to see my three main points that I personally use for finding winning products. Now I understand everybody has seen wow factor 9 million times and it's very subjective. What might impress me might be different for you. So if I see a PS4 controller that looks really cool, I might lose my mind and think that's the coolest thing ever. But to you, you're not a gamer and you're like, oh, Ethan, you're such a loser. Why don't you go back to the nerd academy? And I'm like, wow, okay, a little bit rude. But with Wow Factor, the greatest way to sort of imagine what is Wow Factor is what is a QVC ad? If you've ever gone on to QVC and you've seen how they do dramatic demonstration where they have like a vacuum and they want to show off how powerful it is, they show it sucking up bowling balls. That is how powerful this vacuum is. So really any product can have a wow factor to it if you market it the right way through product demo ads, through engaging thumbnails. Engaging thumbnails are so important. If you ever watch YouTube, you're always clicking the video based upon the thumbnail. Is it something crazy like girlfriend cheats on boyfriend prank gone wrong, something of that variety. And having high quality photos is also something that's important to your wow factor. So having high quality photos is good for image ads if you're selling, let's say, a t-shirt, a necklace that really doesn't need to be explained with a video ad, or when someone lands onto your actual website, when they see you have high quality photos, they are more comfortable to shop on your website because they'll believe that you're the one who actually makes this product. Now, usually a wow factor product is something that's a new iteration of a proven product or something you've never seen before. I'm, I'm totally all in on the something you've never seen before because most of my winning products have been of that variety. It's just something that even as a drop shipper, I haven't seen very frequently. I don't like using product research tools because then everybody has already seen this product. Multiple, multiple thousands or hundreds of people will test it when it gets on Ecom Hunt or Niche Scraper. So you're sort of jumping on the trend. And personally, I like to create the trend. I'm a trendsetter. I'm not a follower. I'm a leader out here. So I always tell people, if you've been in the game for a while, try to start the trends. Try to be the next fidget spinner. Try to establish yourself and build a brand that has never done anything else ever like it before. Now, when you're starting out, it's perfectly fine to jump on the trends, use e on use any of those tools because you need to get your experience. You need to get your dropshipping game up to that next level. And seeing other winning products will help you identify what are the common factors, what are the common patterns. And when you do do your research on AliExpress, and go straight to the supplier, you'll be able to find out what products sort of resonate the same way as those winning products you've already seen. So next, limited availability. Now, if you're selling something like necklaces, phone cases, or anything that is easily accessible at a local retail store, Target, Walmart, or an Amazon, there's a good chance you're gonna fail because when you have all this competition, it's really difficult to sort of convince somebody to shop with you because they have all these other alternatives already out there. I mean, it's good to have competition. Usually that means that your niche uh, has profitability, that there's an interest in it, that people are passionate about it. So that's not necessarily the worst thing, but if you have so much competition where you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of other businesses selling the same exact product at cheaper rates, you're gonna fail. Now, if you're a beginner, this last factor can be your superpower. It can be your X factor that sort of gives you an unfair advantage over people who've been doing dropshipping for years. Because obviously this is very subjective. This is where you use your brain, your own creativity, your own awesomeness in finding a winning product. So when you're on AliExpress and you're going straight to the source and you see a product that really catches your eye and makes you want to buy it instantly, you should be listing the exact reasons why on a piece of paper, on a notes file of all the benefits of the product. Why did you wanna buy it? What are you imagining? What are you envisioning using this product for? And then use that in your advertising, in your videos, in your images, your ad copy, your product descriptions. Use it everywhere. 
because when you understand why you would want to buy the product you can speak directly to the consumers you are going to be targeting with your ads and if you can speak their language if you can tell them exactly why they need your product you will be successful and create a product from nothing to five six figures a month so that can be your superstar sort of x factor ability that gives you an unfair advantage over every other dropshipper so your brain if you know your creativity if you can use your own awesomeness and find a winning product and find out what is the main selling points i mean kudos to you honestly because you're so much further ahead than all the other dropshippers now keep in mind even if a product has all three of these factors uh, it can still be a loser. I have tested products that have matched all my guidelines and for some reason there might not have been a market for it. People just didn't want it. Maybe there wasn't enough clips or content out there for me to create videos with. Maybe it was just something wrong with the product name or the price or my offer. But whatever I did, it just didn't sell or it didn't scale and there are products like that. So keep in mind, even the best in the dropshipping industry fail over half the time. So when you're starting out and you're expecting to hit 100% of the time, like you're the greatest three-point shooter of all time, like you're a robot, it's just going to be leading you to a complete downfall. It's just don't have your expectations too high when you're starting. Personally for me, I'm like Steph Curry. I make my three-pointers 40% of the time. When I'm testing products, I hit about 40% of the time. So if you're coming in with the mindset that you should be hitting 100% of the time and you miss out on three, four, five, six products in a row, you're gonna quit. So you should come into the mindset that you've never shot a three pointer in your life. You've never took an NBA three. You haven't even touched a basketball because you've never started dropping business. So you're gonna hit maybe five, 10% of the time. So you might test 10, 20 products and only one is a winner. So keep in mind that even if you have all these different factors, it just takes practice experience and with everything in life the more practice and experience you have the more successful you'll be and really the only difference between you and me is i have more experience that's literally it if you've been doing this for three years i mean you would feel confident teaching this so we're going to go into aliexpress and i'm going to show you three winning products i was able to identify and i'm going to show you some product research methods that i do when i am on aliexpress so first, we're gonna do the dog niche. Everybody loves dogs. It's a very passionate group of people. Dog owners love buying stuff for their dogs. Now, when you are in AliExpress, keep in mind, if you look right here, there is 795,000 products to look at. I mean, there's just so many. It's an endless amount, honestly. So if you can't find one winning product out of 795,000, then you ain't looking good enough. Simple as that. Because there will always be new winners every single week, every single day, every single month that you can find a test on your businesses. And even if you have a winning product, you should still be doing about an hour of research every single day trying to find that next winner. Now, there's about 30 products on every single page in AliExpress. So if you do 60 pages times that by 30, that's 1,800 products. Out of those 1,800, there should be at least five of those that you can test and get four or five figures a month with. So guys, do your work, do your due diligence, do your research, and I'm gonna give you a pro tip right here. When you are doing your product research on AliExpress, you should have the same mindset as somebody scrolling through their Instagram or Facebook feed. You should be only looking for products that stop your feed, that when you're scrolling through these, capture your attention instantly and make you wanna buy because that is the only type of product that people on Instagram that are on Facebook will want to stop and actually check out. So it should be the exact same sort of method that you do when you're on AliExpress. So there's so many different pages of products. There's thousands and thousands and thousands. So you really have to find the one that captures your unique eyes and makes you want to buy. So I actually found one product that was really interesting, these sort of fur dog beds. And as you can see, they're for all types of dogs. You got different sizes, different colors. And it even comes with a cool video that you can use for your own advertising that we're going to check out right now. So let's just watch like five, 10 seconds. So you got big dogs on these beds. You got little dogs. It's even working for cats. I saw a picture that if you scroll down, you can sell this to cats or dogs. This is the greatest product ever. You should be testing this if you have a pet themed store because it's a gen, I mean, pets, it works for cats, it works for dogs, it has different colors, different sizes. Who could you not sell this to? Who would not want to buy this for their dog or cat? It just looks so comfortable and cool, and we love to spoil our pets. 
Now, the next product is actually in the drones niche. This is sort of an up and coming niche because it has an extremely high perceived value. Now, I found a product that really catch my eyes. It was sort of like this pinball looking, uh, as you can see, these got pinball colors, white and red. This drone right here has a 4K camera and a 10,080p, so you could sell both these different versions 30 bucks in AliExpress, you could sell this for hundreds of dollars. Drones have an extremely high perceived value. There's some going for $5,000. So you could easily charge 90, 100, $150 if you brand your store the right way with a product like this. Now finally, we're gonna go into one more niche. Let's say we wanna go into beauty. Now I actually didn't do this, but we're gonna go into beauty right now. So we're gonna go to AliExpress and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do when I'm doing research. So let's say you're in the beauty niche. Skincare is really popping right now, I'll admit. It's just made a lot of six-figure people. Now, if I'm scrolling through here, what catches my eye? What is doing for me? Let's see. Doot, doot, doot. I'm looking for high-quality photos. I'm looking for something that catches my attention. And really, let's scroll back up. And I like this. This is actually a really cool product. Now, the reason why I think it's a cool product is because of this photo right here. That is an Instagram or Facebook worthy piece of content. This model right here wearing these sort of uh, eye care, I guess it removes you know the, the bags under the eyes, it's anti-aging. There's so many great selling points and it's reusable. I mean, not reusable, but it's something that people have to constantly buy more and more and more of. It's an evergreen niche, meaning you could sell this at all times of year and you could afford to break even in the front end of running Facebook ads for this product because you know that 5, 10, 15% of your customers are going to come back to buy more of these eye masks. There's only five in these packs and obviously that means you probably have one per day. So after like a week, these people are going to come back to your store and buy more and more and more. So that is how you can build your store the right way. Having repeat customers, really emphasizing the shipping times of this product. I would look for a supplier that can ship in two weeks max because then you can constantly be selling more and more. And this is a great product for upsells or bundle deals. Buy two, get 15% off. Buy four, get 30% off. So many different avenues. And really guys, we're going to just leave it off like that. Let's go back to the full screen. I mean, how was that for a first video? You know how many value bombs I just gave you? Probably a lot. I mean, you should have been taking down some notes. Take a screenshot of those three main points if you didn't already or write them down because they're going to help you so much when you're doing product research. And if you want more strategies, if you want my best strategies that I personally use for all of my six-figure brands from email marketing, from product research, website creation, basically every major aspect of your business from Google, Facebook, influencer ads, I do have a course that I will link at the bottom, Dropshipping Empire Academy. It's about $343. It's on sale. $500 off has over a hundred plus videos, 11 hours of content. So it's gonna be the guide, the blueprint for you to go from zero figures a month to six figures a month with your dropshipping store. So if you wanna learn more, if you wanna learn the best strategies that will take you from a beginner to an expert level at dropshipping, check out that in the link in the bio. I know it's gonna help you out, but I hope this video did help you out. If you have any suggestions, if you wanna learn anything about dropshipping, please let me know. I'm here to help you out and I will see you in the next video.